Hello and welcome. My name is Jackie. I am a professional photographer and a reviewer for ShotKit. And sometimes I like to review photography software for you folks, especially when AI is involved. And I figure if you're here on this channel today, you probably searched for a Neuropix review, or maybe you're just perusing around looking at AI editing tools. So if you're here for the Neuropix review, that's what I've got for you today. By now, I'm sure most of you have heard of AI editing tools like Imagine and Aftershoot, but have you heard about the AI editing plugin for Lightroom? It's called Neuropix. So if you're looking to elevate your editing game and streamline your workflow, or even if you're already using AI tools and you just are looking to try something new out, here in for a real treat because this plugin is pretty sweet. I did not mean to rhyme, but I did. It's got seamless integration with Lightroom, meaning no additional apps. And as a minimalist, this is so it. It took me all of five seconds to install this app. There's no extra desktop clutter. I don't have to add like another thing to my toolbar. It's just clean and simple. So yeah, let's open up Lightroom and check it out. Okay, so right when we open up Lightroom, Neuropix pops right up and it's gonna ask us if we'd like to create a smart preset or edit our photos. And this is just a little walkthrough menu. It's good for when you're first getting acquainted, trying to figure out where everything is, but uh, it's not required to use Neuropix. So if it drives you nuts, you can just check this little box right here to hide it. We can access all these tools by switching from the develop panel to the library panel. And then we're gonna click on the library drop-down menu that appears at the very top Scroll all the way down to plugin extras, and then you can see here that we have all of our Neuropix menu options. So since we don't have a smart preset yet, we're gonna select, you guessed it, create smart preset. So now another little window is gonna pop up, and here's why I think Neuropix is great for beginners. It asks us if we want to kickstart Neuropix, and this is for if we have less than 500 edited images to teach it with, or if we want to create a smart preset regularly with past edits based on a classic Lightroom preset. And this method is recommended by Neuropix as it kind of gives the AI um, a little bit more data to learn from. Another cool thing is we can also craft our own personalized AI smart preset using just 20 of our images, which is, as I'm sure many of us know, significantly less than other competitors. We can also use one of the included Neuropix smart presets or check out the Neuropix store for some ready-made smart presets from other professional photographers. But since I've personally been doing wedding photography for a little while, we're gonna select regular creation and establish a name for our smart preset. Now it's gonna upload our photos to the Neuropix servers in Germany and don't worry, the servers belong to Neuropix. So we're gonna have maximum security or for our photos. So no worries there. So what do we do if we wanna add more photos from multiple different catalogs? This wedding that I've chosen is, it's a micro wedding. So there's only 300 images in here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna choose another wedding I think has a similar color palette, similar editing style. And uh, I'm just going to add into the smart preset. So I'm going to go back to the drop down, click create smart preset and upload more to my smart preset creamy highlights. So I can just select it right here. So since we've uploaded 500 images now, we can officially create this thing. I got an email from Simon, who's one of Neuropix's founders, letting me know that depending on the queue, I would have my preset created within a few hours, but it, it took them like 30 minutes is all. And all we need to do is go into Lightroom, select all the photos we want to edit with, and choose edit photos option in the plugin menu. It's gonna upload the photos and then after not too long, we're gonna get another email saying the edits are ready and ask us to download them back into Lightroom. But the server editing was only one option you have with Neuropix. There, you, there's also a second option and it's even more impressive. And it's a big difference to imagine in Aftershoot um, because you can use your smart preset also locally on your own computer using the Neuropix flat rate. The special thing about this is you're going to get your first edited images back only after a few seconds. And right away, you can just click on the develop module in Lightroom and begin with your final check. This is cool because you can do that while other images are still being edited in the background. That is a major advantage of Neuropix that comes along with the Lightroom integrated approach. This is something that we don't see with other competitors. So I really like this function a lot. Okay, so honestly, right off the bat, this it looks really similar to the way I would edit these photos, if not the slightly darker in these indoor window lit ones, which is a pretty quick fix, just bump the exposure a little bit. And if we look at the ones outdoors, if anything, I think I would bump the shadows a little bit, um, maybe add a little more warmth, but I feel like, you know, needing to make slight adjustments is pretty expected with all these AI editing tools. That's not really too big of a shock there. I will say though, 
The drone photo didn't work as well contrast-wise, but that's also to be expected because the way I need to edit my drone photos is kind of completely different. There's a lot of different variations in the way that a drone will photograph versus um, Canon R5s, obviously, so presets don't tend to work the same way anyhow. But to be honest, it still did a really good job and just needed a little bump in the shadows as well. So if you like what you just saw and you want to give your effects a whirl, but are wondering what the investment after a free test period may look like, I will say it is pretty reasonable, you guys. They offer two distinct pricing models, so we can choose between a flat rate option or a paper picture option. And the flat rate option can be chosen either monthly or annually, which is going to be ideal if you're planning on editing more than 3,000 images per month. If you're only going to do a few images here and there, I would go with the paper picture model. It is exactly what you think it is. You pay per picture that you edit, and it is priced at just three cents a photo. If you're not sure about diving in all at once, you could put Neuropix to the test for free. Yes, so you can enjoy a thousand image edits on the house and experience the magic of Neuropix firsthand. And if you register via the shot kit link, which is in, it's somewhere down here, you're gonna get another 1,000 free edits on top of that. So that is 2,000 free edits if you go through the Neuropix shot kit link. So there you have it. I personally really love this tool because it's the first one that I've tried that hasn't required another external program. I am so tired of having like so many things on my toolbar. So the fact that I can just open Lightroom and this thing is already just built in is so awesome and it seems to be quite a bit faster to edit a full shoot than imagine or after shoot even when you upload but if you just do it locally on your computer it's like lightning fast like it's insane you guys i'm really looking forward to hearing your opinions in the comments so please feel free to get a discussion going there's a lot of ai editing tools out there and i'm always eager to see what fellow photographers think whenever we learn about a new one so thank you as always for taking the time to watch this review and we'll see you next time